Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you cut phrasal verbs so you aren't going to miss this one are you? Well I'm telling you this because I know how important they are. They are so frequently used in spoken English in daily life English that you don't want to miss this for sure. So with this said, let's get going. But not before you hit my subscribe button down below if this is your first time here and welcome, a warm welcome. Good. So um, just in case you've never heard of phrasal verbs before and you don't know how this grammar point works in English, well, this is to help you out a playlist with phrasal verbs videos made by me in order to get the gist of it you know to understand how they work and what it's all about in english so we're ready to go the number one cut phrasal verb is to cut in to cut in this one has three different meanings, so let's go over the three of them. Well, the first one is to go before somebody else while standing in line. I hate people cutting in for no reason. That's so rude. Meaning number two, to drive in front of another car without warning. So the car just caught us in and nearly threw us off the road. And the last meaning for cut in is to interrupt somebody talking. Next time she cuts me in, I'll tell her straight in the face. That's so cheeky. The next one is to cut out. Cut out. Very well said. Also mind the linking part as we've, you know, kept doing all through our videos. Well, cut out has only two meanings, so let's see. The first one is to remove something from something else. Like, for example, a drawing from a picture, yeah? So now, children, be sure to cut out the horse from the picture and stick it onto the panel. <laughs> Good. And the second meaning is to stop or seize. The two boys were having a fight, so the teacher told them to cut it out or else they'd get punished. The next phrasal verb is to cut off. Cut off. Very good pronunciation. Let's go then. And please know that this one has got four meanings attached to it. So the number one meaning is to remove by cutting. Remove something by cutting. Mom cut off all the dry twigs on our orchids and cleaned them up. They now look so pretty. Good. The second one for cut off is just as for cut in to interrupt somebody talking. And the example here is she cut me off seeing that I had to end my speech. We're running out of time. Meaning number three is to end abruptly. End abruptly. And the example for this is we got cut off before we could even say our goodbyes. And the last meaning, number four, is to isolate or make something inaccessible due to weather conditions, bad weather conditions. Like in our following example, which is due to last night's heavy snowfall, um, lots of roads were blocked and our village has been cut off. So we couldn't go to school anymore. Hmm. What a sad situation, isn't it? But that's nature. You can put up with it. <laughs> now, let's just take a moment to validate your efforts to show up 
for my English lessons right here on my channel each and every time. I truly congratulate you for your consistent efforts. Good job. And now let's move on to the next cut phrasal verb, which is cut up. Cut up, which means to cut in big pieces. Like for example, um, can you please cut up those carrots for me, please? <laughs> The next one is to cut down. Cut down with its two meanings. The first one is to bring down by cutting, like um, is the case with the trees, the trees of forest, which are, you know, more and more cut down. And this is so saddening. And the next meaning is to reduce the amount of something. So why don't you, we just cut down the amount of paper we use so that it'll last us until the end of the week. Cut back on. To cut back on means to spend less or consume less of something. For example, I think you are having more and more sugar with all your meals. The doctor recommended cutting back on it little by little. So the doctor recommended cutting back on it, consuming less of it. Next, we've got cut through. Cut through. Nothing to worry about, believe me. And we've got two meanings to this one. The one, the first one being to understand something that isn't easy to understand. And the example for you is he cut through the length report trying to give the others a quick summary. The next one is to deal with something quickly. So the example is there was no time for explaining. So he cut through the process. He cut through the process. Yeah, he just did it all very fast, very quickly. Hope you got it all right. And now it's time for you to put it into practice. But not before we go over the last one, which is to cut across, to cut across. See it with me, please. Yes, good. This one has no more than two meanings. And the first one is to make a shorter route, make a shorter route. And my example for you is if we cut across the park, we'll get there and have the normal time. The second meaning is to affect people of different classes or backgrounds. Like for example, the work bullying issue cuts across various backgrounds for sure, which is so sad. With this said, we are done. If you think this video has been useful to you, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and follow for more. Please feel free to browse through all of my video across the channel and I'm sure you'll find something for your taste. There is something for everyone's taste on my channel. That's what I like to believe. And I'll see you again next time as well. Bye for now.